All right, welcome back to another Battletech series. We have been systematically playing our way through every Battletech game, starting with the earliest. Although we have leaned more towards the Battletech than the Mech Warrior, because uh, I don't know, the, the tactical and the RPG sides of Battletech interest me more than the simulation sides. Um, and it's interesting that Battletech, the board game, is a tactical strategy game, uh, and they even have a spin-off Mech Warrior RPG game. But there is no I mean, I don't know if you could do a simulator as a board game. You can't really. But it's interesting. I think Battletech is more famous as Mech Warrior to more gamers uh, than it is as Battletech itself, even though Battletech was the OG Battletech, you know? So it's, it's interesting. There's an interesting relationship between the Battletech and the Mech Warrior franchise. Mech Commander is a franchise long forgotten, but uh, it's, it's one of the... I want to say earlier, but in fact, it was one of the later real-time strategy attempts at Mech Warrior, with the Crescent Hawks Revenge being uh, the first. So there was really only two attempts, but uh, I, I did like where this one was going. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't perfect. But uh, anyway, today we're playing the expansion Command campaign. We played Incoming the original campaign a while back. Let's go! I need that book up now. This and I'll shut up for a sec. Message for Zulu and Yankee Company commanders, First Davian Guards, commanders. Operation Bulldog is a success. Clan Smoke Jaguar has been utterly defeated and the worlds they have captured have been liberated. Remnants of their forces are fleeing the inner sphere and returning to Clan Space. Now the bad news. I'm rescinding your orders to return home. Intel reports that a renegade Smoke Jaguar, Star Colonel Marcus Coter, has taken planet Cermak in the periphery. Your orders are to retake the planet and terminate his command. Several drop ships are en route with equipment and mech warriors. Battalion has graciously supplied us with three new battle mech chassis and several new weapon systems. Check battalion inventory at regular intervals. Now listen. Reports indicate Coter may be unstable. At the time of our counterattack, he was under house arrest pending court martial for war atrocities. Cermak was originally an old Star League outpost. But after centuries of warfare, it's nothing more than a junk heap, devoid of human population. He picked that Star League outpost for a reason. I want to know what it is. Reese out. Let's go. Me too. So, uh, yeah. Um, we are carrying on the mission that we started way back when. Um, let's first check out what we got going on here. So we got Commando, Firestarter, Stiletto. That's a new mech, I believe. Uh, Raven, the Hollander, I believe, was in the first Mech Commander that we played a while back. Hunchback, Bushwhacker, that one is definitely new. Bushwhacker always reminds me of the um, Battletech cartoon show, the first Somerset Strikers, you know? Because uh, I think that's like the only canonical appearance of it, even though that show isn't canon. Although it is, it's canon in a weird way. It's an in-universe cartoon that people watch in the Battletech universe. <laughs> so they canonized it. In the most interesting way possible, the Centurion, the Catapults, the Awesome, the Mauler, the Atlas. Okay, so, so far only one new mech. Hopefully there's some new clan mechs. Um, I'm excited to play this, by the way, because I'm playing this well after I have already been developing and released my own Battletech strategy game called Battle Mercs. So if you haven't seen that, look for it on my channel. You guys will like it. But we're not going to talk about that too much in this Let's Play series. We're just going for the Mech Commander expansion. Um, and it'll be, I say it's interesting because, you know, in my game, you can do a lot of the stuff you can do in this, but it's a little different. So I'm, I'm haven't played Mech Commander in a while. I'm kind of curious to see like what's similar and what's different. And who knows, maybe we'll get some ideas for things we can add to, uh, to Battle Mercs, but, uh, that's not why I'm playing. I'm playing because, uh, just felt like playing anyway. Um, oh, we should also check to see... I guess we don't have really any money. I was going to say, we should check to see if there's any good equipment. Uh, wait. Purchasing. There we go. Components. Took a look in the wrong spot there. Uh, PPCs. For anyone who knows me, PPCs are my go-to. Uh, oh, that's my current inventory. I was like, why, why is there no cost? I'm sorry, it's going to take me a minute to orient to the menus here. But, uh, where's the PPC? 6,900. They have two available. 
LBX auto cannons. I think that's new. Fires three fragmented rounds. Now, Mech Commander is an interesting franchise because in Battletech, heat uh, is a big mechanic. All weapons do damage, and then they also cause heat. Oh, X pulse lasers. That's different. Rapid firing energy weapon has the fastest recycle rate of any component and is capable of striking at long ranges. That's interesting. Um, the ER particle projection cannon. What's the difference between the PPC? Where is it? It's over here. PPC is 7.5 and 7.5. Load value 12. The ER is 15. Okay, so the PPCs, I think, are the way to go for us. Um, the gauze rifle is like a PPC that fires a little faster. The long tom, 8 points of damage and additional 8 points. Everything in his radius. Wow, okay, so that's AoE. Haven't seen that before. The light gauze rifle. Okay, so there's some interesting stuff here. Um, I guess I'll just save my money for a sec, and let's just go ahead and modify our mechs a little bit. Um, so in terms of components... Okay, we do have one PPC that we can throw on. This guy's got an auto cannon and a PPC and an LRM rack, and that is not bad. Recycle time four, damage six. That's not bad either. Light auto cannon. So light auto cannons straight up suck. They suck in uh, they suck in my game and they suck in this game. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade you, buddy. Now the interesting thing is like in Battletech, you usually have to care about how many heat sinks a mech has and how much heat capacity it can like withstand and stuff. But in in the Mech Commander franchise, they just totally abandoned the idea that heat was even a thing. And I totally get why they did it. I mean it's it's much more of a pain to have to uh, you know pay attention to it. But it does sort of feel like it's a little weird when a battle that game pays no attention to uh, heat. Also, this game doesn't deal with, uh, you know, critical hit slots. It does have sort of weight limits, like load values, but it doesn't deal with critical hit slots. It doesn't deal with hard points, none of that stuff. Um, so it is, very, it is, I would say this is a Battletech-like video game as opposed, or Battletech-themed Robot game, maybe? This is the best way to describe it. All right, the question is... So we can take our heavies. What is our mission? Capture HQ vehicles, capture component warehouses, move all units to the extraction point. Okay, so this guy is <clears throat> 35 and 25. So it's, was it 60 tons? Okay, I can't cleanly replace... I'm just going to go with Commence three guys. I was going to say, I can't cleanly, combat. like, swap out two guy or one guy for two guys. So we're going to go with this. And let's see. There's the buttons. And I think... Yeah, if you hold space and click, then they'll run. There we go. All right, into the world of... Mech Commander. Now, I always loved this 3D sort of isometric view in the game of uh, of Mech Commander here. I always dreamed as a kid of like working for a game studio and like basically by the time I worked there, like having a, you know, having uh, sort of making isometric mech games because I always thought that'd be cool. You can also, I think there's a way to zoom in. There it is. Look at these sweet mechs. Let's take a minute to enjoy the graphics. Are these 3D or are these sprites? I think these are 3D? It's hard to tell, actually. They might be pulling the old StarCraft trick where it's actually just sprites. They sort of look like Diablo units. Yeah, I don't know if it's 3D or not. Hmm, somebody in the comments can probably let me know. Anyway, all right, dudes. Oh, there's some guys over here. Or something. What is this? An Uller J. And another Uller J. Double Ullers. Alright. Now, one thing that I'm pretty sure you can't do in this game is run through forests. You have to, like, burn them down if you want to, like, move through them. Which is another vari or not variation, but another change from, you know, Battletech proper. Uh, because okay, in real Battletech, like the the board game, 
Yeah, that guy went down like it was his job. Uh, but in real battle tech, you can actually go into forest, and there's strategic value in going into forest because it reduces your chance of being hit and it makes you harder to see. And those explosions are so sweet. I wish, wish my game had something like that. One thing this game is going to mop the floor with compared to my own fan game I've been working on is visuals. The visuals in this are just like, you know. I mean, it's just like the Hairbrain Schemes Battletech game. It's like they're professionally done. They're great. Um, I don't know who's shooting at me, but they're dead now. Uh, containers. We're supposed to capture a couple shipping containers. Oh, there's a mobile HQ that we're after. Let's go get this thing, boys. Uh, but yeah, the visuals of this game Do what I can, sir. are pretty good. You know, for clanners, these guys are not very scary. I'm taking enemy fire. Then we gotta kill this thing, too. Right? Yes, sir. That Uller's still like around. Can you guys wipe... Kill that thing already. Also, I think one thing I really like about this game that I make copy. I'm sorry, I'm like in the mindset of like, what can I steal from this game? In the sense of like, not like literal theft, but like inspiration for mechanics. I like the fact that like when you succeed at like a mission objective, the music changes a bit. And then when you encounter enemies, the music changes. So it's like you get. Dune 2 pulled the same trick. When you encountered enemies, the music got. A little exciting and then like when you defeated enemies it cooled down again and in this one we achieve a little victory like capturing a mobile command post you get like a little uh victory music i feel like having dynamic music like that i remember back in the day of dune 2 uh -oh, always always made the soundtrack feel like it was responding to what was happening in the game and i would it just stood out to me it's cool uh, as compared to something like Mech Warrior 2, has a great soundtrack. Loved it. I literally would listen to my Mech Warrior 2 CD like uh, you know in my in my CD player as a kid. Um, but at the same time, for that, the music just plays in the background. It doesn't matter what the hell you're doing in the mission. It, it makes literally no difference. So, um, and that's a more kind of traditional way that music is used. So I like that Microprose here was trying to like actually do something a little different here. Boom! Super satisfying. I wonder if they went through several iterations of explosions and they were like asking their testers, what explosion feels the best to you? Which one do you see and you're just like, mm, yeah, I like that. But not in a pervy way, like Jay just did. <laughs> yes, sir. The J. Edgar. Looks like I got it, sir. Go to battle the J. Edgar Hoover tank. Take him out with the the Bill Clinton and the Al Gore. Oh my God, they've got Nixon assistant tanks. I don't know. It's kind of amusing to think that in the year 3000, people will still know, even know who J. Edgar Hoover is. I think in the year 3000, people are going to think back, look back on our time and literally know absolutely nothing about I'm it. Reporting a new sensor track. Like, they'll know not, as much about it as we do about the politicians from yes, the sir. 1000s. I'm which, I don't know about you fire. guys, but for me, it's not much. Okay, we're going to try and yes, capture sir. this uh, turret control thing. center here. Okay, I'm on it. They're targeting me. Okay. Gotta okay, wipe out all the enemies like first. Guess. We're taking fire from yes, the turrets. Sir. Once we like gain control of the turrets, the and they're on our side, Can't then we're playing the our game, man. Oh, we want target. these. Enemy yes, components captured. I think the what is this? The salvage rig. Okay, I'm on it. Definitely gonna take that Goblin out. Here. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Should we take a... Yes, so sir. I think if you destroy the auxiliary power, the turrets power down, so we actually don't want to do that. Okay, so what are our objectives? Move all units to the extraction point. Well, that's pretty easy. Oh, there's, we can also capture okay, this, too, it. if we want. Why not? There you go. Now this, all this base are belong to us. Hmm. So a lot of missions in this game revolve around capturing things. Capture mobile command post, capture base. Sometimes you have to defend against waves of incoming enemies. But the... One thing I, I remember about Mech Commander games is they tend to be very linear. Like you start at one corner of the map, and then you kind of like work your way up 
until you're at the end and then you're all done um and so that's kind of interesting like i'm just sort of like thinking about mission dynamics now and stuff for like what would make for a fun interesting mech game and i didn't i guess i didn't really pay attention specifically to how this one was organized but that's how it's organized anyway oh what is this guy a shadow cat oh and there's elementals oh that's new Guys, we're we're getting bum rushed. We're getting bum rushed. Normally we do the rushing into the bums of our truck. <laughs> that that sounds so him. wrong. You you know what I mean, but okay, oh look at them. Toads! They're called elementals in clan vernacular. But they're called toads in the inner sphere. Okay, but they all went down. So it's pretty good. Extraction point marker. I'm pretty sure we're Mission done. Mission objective complete. Mission successful. Oh yeah, I get this nice sweet little victory screen. All right. We captured the HQ vehicle. We captured the component warehouses. We did it all. We didn't complain. Who C E R laser? So clan stuff is definitely valuable. One thing I wish they let you do in this game is carry over your spoils from the first game, but I don't think you're allowed to do that. Um, so here's our Uller J. Um, well, there we go. It's cool to like see it damaged and like the little parts get repaired in sequence. The wireframes in this are actually really cool. My game doesn't do this. It has models, it has cool looking sprites for all the, the units, but doesn't, it's not, a, like this is cool like wireframe where it's like colored and stuff. You see the bones of the mech, pretty neat anyway. Uh, all right, some stuff that we don't have, it's to be expected. Some basic centers on that baby. Um, how much armor does this thing have? One thing that's hard to gauge is like, how much armor these things actually carry. Um, oh, there it is. The bottom left. Armor is light, 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 moderate. Um, and let's see. Class medium, armor moderate. Stro armor moderate, okay. Not a fan of the Jaeger mix. I definitely will be dumping it as soon as I possibly can, but for now oh i was gonna say how did i get clan stuff i guess i got it when i uh raided that warehouse there we go i don't know that looks pretty good uh let's go to purchasing for a second is there anyone better by fiend oh gator that's who you want gator uh, I have 50,000. You got it. Okay, I'll hire Gator. And... I'll hire this guy. Look at that. This is Gunman. Man. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard, GM. Okay, Gator. This is Gator. You got it. <laughs> Gator gets the Uller. And uh, I guess I'll leave everyone else in, even though some of these guys probably need to be replaced. But I want to bring guys in to get them experience, to start leveling them up. Um, okay, anything worth purchasing? What is a centipede? A fast, heavy, armored scout car equipped with Guardian ECM and advanced sensors. Huh. Ammo truck. Makes field repairs. I do like the idea of bringing into the field like a, a repair unit. Replenishes expense. Like that could be really important for some missions. We'll see if we need it. Um, I also wanted to see what mechs they had for sale though. In case there's anything cool. So Stiletto. Do we want one of these things? The fastest mech. The inner sphere arsenal carries intermediate sensors. It's speed. He has unparalleled ability to evade combat. This variant has extra weapons and no jump jets. 
That's pretty cool. I do remember in this game having a jump capable crew is really handy because you can like jump into bases and like take stuff out. Hey, we could buy uh, a catapult if we want. But actually, I don't want the armor variant. I'd want. Uh, maybe I would. Hmm. Catapults do look cool. Kind of tempted to buy one. Or hunchback. Okay, we're gonna hold it's mission two. Let's just wait and see what we get the normal way. The normal way is by you kill everything on the battlefield and some of the things come home with you. So thunder and spice and everything nice going into this group. Then we'll have a rooster and a gator. And this guy can't even come. Baron. I think it's a lady actually. No, it's a it's a guy with a terrible haircut. Sir I'm sorry to say, but you're sitting this one out. Defend the base. Defend the turret power. Defend the sensor control. Oh, we have artillery strikes and stuff. I should remember to use that stuff. All right. Boyos. All right, we just kind of got to keep everyone out of the base. Let's see here. A large gate. So all the gates have been destroyed. Okay, there's a repair facility. Definitely want to keep that nice and functional. What is that? An ordnance truck. Okay. Having the radar towers is actually pretty cool. That's another neat mechanic. Maybe I'll steal that one one day. I have thought of that one, actually. Hydroponics facility. Interesting. Fuel truck. Gate control. The gate's destroyed. Like, this base has seen better days. Look, it has, like, one power generator left. Command station. I'm going to stay near the... I feel like it's a trap to try to lure you out there. Look at them all. It's actually a ton of units. Did I bring enough? <laughs> this is all they would allow me to bring. All right, we're just waiting, biding our time. Now this planet looks really crappy. Like this, like the the water is literally the color of boogers. No grass. Ugh, it's this is that <laughs> when they were after the success of Mech Commander, they were like, you know, we should make a sequel on a planet that looks like puke. They're like, you know what people like. Is big puke colored vistas, you know? Drab, brown, green. You, you, you want to get your browns and your greens in there with your beiges. Mix it all together into a yellowy swirl. Well, that's that's where the aesthetics are, you know? Not, not that every game has to take place on a lush green paradise, but, uh, you know. I have a feeling every battle in this entire game is going to take place in this uh, this temperate zone here of uninteresting brown trees. I don't think we're going to see a lot of variation in environments. It'd be cool if this game was sort of like sometimes, you know, you're in a mountain, so it was more Arctic, and then there was a, a desert level and stuff. Like, it'd be cool if there was a little bit of variation like that. Okay, I think these guys are going to go behind me. Okay, I guess uh, I'm just going to wait for these guys to uh, wait for the main guys to come in and I'll see what these guys are doing. I'm keeping an eye on them. If they try and flank me, though, I'll have to, like, zoom over behind them real quick. <laughs> All right, the big reveal. What are we looking at here? Besides dots, yellow colored dots in the black void. <laughs> so slow. It's like a, you know what? This is like a mech version of a gender reveal party. What's it gonna be? It's a baby boy Atlas, and he's come to kill you. I'm anticipating light mechs, oolers. It's just gonna be a bunch of oolers. Here they come. Oh my god, it's not even, not even worth my time. Are these the baby boy mechs I've been looking for? Okay, maybe um. Maybe one group goes here and you guys 
you guys just like kill these guys for me? I got it, sir. I got tricked. Oh uh, yeah, Don't see here they are. Alright. Yes, sir. Luckily they've all decided to stand behind uh stand Don't outside my base and slowly fire the turrets yeah. that are wearing them down, so. Yes, sir. I like when the AI is nice and stupid. Yes, sir. Okay, down they go. That takes care of him. Yes, sir. Let's see what's going on over here. Well, you guys did good. You did your jobs. You did the bare minimum. I'll call it good. No, you guys did good too, actually. You wiped out all those oolers. I see, I knew it was oolers. They kind of go through uh, phases in Mech Commander. Where, like they start you on the light mechs, and then they work your way up to the Goblin hard stuff. There. Sir, I can't get there from here. They're like they don't want to jump right into the uh, the atlases right away. You got to earn that. Okay, hold on. Why are those fleeing? Defend the base. Defend the turrets. Defend the sensors. These guys are like, we're out. This was a part of the deal. They're supposed to be on an undefended base. By everything that is honorable and clan-like, we abandon our duties. Just like the clans would, right? Oh, let's, uh, oh, where are my airstrikes? A large strike. Oh, <laughs> I can't because I can't see the zone. Oh, come on. It doesn't matter if I can see it. I know it's there. Strike the whole place. Kill him. Okay. What if I like just sent this guy out here? Rooster man. You're on a little bit of a scout mission for us. It's called take a look at them so that my raid so that my artillery guys will believe me that we should strike that area. Oh god. You bet you, sir. Oh, there we captured. go. Wait, are we supposed to be all the way out here? I thought we were just supposed to defend. I don't know. Hopefully Rooster doesn't die. On the flip side, he might die. And I wouldn't be that sad about it. It's only Rooster. Nobody takes that guy seriously. Hell, we gave him the nickname Rooster. Rooster here. They're shooting me up. All right, Rooster. Yeah, uh, can you get a little closer, actually? Then you can get the hell out of there. Okay, you get back now. <coughs> well, oh, no, I was going to say, we didn't airstrike them. Oh, there's a container stack out there. Oh, okay. Well, plans have changed. Well, Rooster's a little beat up. But I'm going to take the A-team out there to do some capturing because if there's containers there there's clan tech and I want that clan tech and here's what we're gonna do do a large strike here and we'll do I forget how long the small strikes take I think it's six seconds yeah double strike oh we <laughs> annihilated them Perfect. Okay. Yes, sir. Where's my crew? Come fight near the turrets. See how that goes for you. Time to die. Is there anything to capture I'm over here? Enemy fire. Not really. I like how the mechs can get uh, wounded and like hop around on one leg. Okay, I'm on get it. Get out of here with your Enemy trying to spot to aerospace. Do what I can, sir. Yeah, right. Looks like I oh, got it, sir. you jerks! You oh, they and they actually got me. You gotta pull me out. They're targeting me. Airstrike. Okay. Can't believe that stupid. I can't believe they were able to spot me. And relay my data back and like actually strike me in the time it took me to shoot them with a gun to their face. <laughs> that is that is some responsive aerospace stuff, I will say that. 
All right, just run for fire. it. Get in there and capture this thing. Do what I can. Oh, captured. All right, let's get these components. Thunder here. We captured the building. Enemy components it's captured. Captain. Okay. Thunder here. Captured the building. Yes, sir. It's an early mission, so I feel like it'll be hard to fail. So even though we're way out of position, I think we're good. Also, I like how in this game, if you capture a component warehouse, the enemy's just like, well, they got it. And they make no effort to capture it back. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. They, they might be nowhere near this warehouse that they captured like 30 minutes ago, but it's not, you know, there's some honor here. We're not just going to take it back. On the flip side, if they can't take it back because we kill them all from the battlefield, and that's why we get to keep it, why do we even have to capture it in the first place, right? Like, does it really make sense? <laughs> Couldn't we just go to it after they're all dead? It's like, no, no, we didn't capture it while the enemy was alive. It wouldn't be right to take it now. Um, you know, I guess we have this repair facility for a reason. Oh, does it not actually want to? Oh, no, you can repair yourself. There we go. You bet you, sir. All right. Well, Rooster, we're going to put you back together. I'm all fixed up. There you go. Now you're not such an embarrassing failure. You're still an embarrassing failure, Rooster, but just not that much of one. I don't know why I'm so down on Rooster. I feel like we're going to kick a, we're going to kick that dog until the end of the day though, like now that I've started to pick on Rooster, he is the the squad punching bag. Poor Rooster happens though again when your parents name you rooster oh I guess it's a call sign whatever we'll just say that's his name rooster smith legendary mercenary actually you're not even mercenaries in this in a lot of battletech media you are mercenaries in some way shape or form in this I'm pretty sure you're part of the regular davian guards or whatever like you're part of an actual unit. Because you don't actually have C bills. You have like reputation points. It's like after a battle, you like go in and you go to the, you know, quartermaster or whatever, and you're like, well, we need more bullets and stuff. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't heard about too many cool things you've done in the battlefield. I don't think you have enough reputation, frankly, to get more guns or repair the damaged I'm equipment you brought back. The army operates. On how impressive the things you do are. If what you do on the battlefield is okay, not impressive enough, then the army is not. Then you're just going to go into battle with dysfunctional, broken pieces of equipment. Sure, That's how it works. Complete. All right, we're fully repaired. I can stop being silly. Oh, I see what's happening. You think I'm not guarding this area? See, this is where I want to get, like, a fully jump-capable squad so I could just jump over this wall and go get those guys. But the way it is, there's no, like, easy way to do that. Okay. Also, my turrets are going to, like, slowly whittle down anyone who comes this way, so that's going to be handy. Unless they destroy them. Oh, yeah, they're just going to destroy that guard tower. <laughs> Whatever. It's keeping them busy. It's giving them something to do. Man, these towers suck, though. Goblin here. Uh oh, new sensor contact. Oh, here comes a cougar. He's like, all right, now you distract him. Now I'm gonna jump in, and oh my god! Okay, sir. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, he Let's went down him. so fast. That was hilarious. It is hilariously funny how quickly light mechs get trashed in this game. Now. Uh, as always, our, like, standing mission whenever you fight the clans is to salvage a mad cat. So we're going to see. I think last time we barely got one. So I think the problem was last time we played this, I was alpha striking too much and my guys were way overpowered. So the way this game works is if you destroy a unit, then it can be salvaged. But if you do too much damage to it, it can't be salvaged sometimes. So what would happen is my guys would all fire. They'd alpha strike. And as the weapons would hit, you know, two, three PPC shots would hit. Then the mech would go down. And then it would go into your salvage pool. You'd be like, okay, we can salvage it. 
and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more PPCs hit because they all got fired at once, right? So they were all in transit. And then as these extra shots land and hit, the mech goes from like, you know, decently salvageable to like, oh, it's trash to like, oh yeah, you, you're not salvaging that. So what we have to do, I think, is actually fire less and maybe have more of a variety of weapons that fire at different rates. I think that's the secret. It may be that like pulse rifles or something are the best for, oh my God, speak of a mad cat. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, and speak about also wanting to like it, spread good. out the fire this so we don't take right. it all down at once. It. Okay, this is looking good. I'm gonna back some of my guys off so that we don't overkill it. There we go. Salvage Mad Cat J! 2C RPPC! Okay, well. <laughs> Literally, I just said that was our goal. It's hilarious. If you go back and watch my first Mech Commander playthrough through the original game, um, you encounter a Mad Cat okay, really early on, and we definitely overkilled it and didn't get to salvage it. And then for the rest of the game, I think we might have salvaged one Mad one Cat by the right. end of the game. Here we've got one off the second GD mission, and he has two ERPPCs, which, again, I'm a fan of, so... Man, these guys, this guy's been up here forever. All right, Rooster. Go take him down. By the time we get up there, he won't even have destroyed this. That's the sad part. His, like, life's mission is a joke. Oops, I commanded Rooster again. In fact, actually, whatever. <laughs> That's just striking. Uh, here's his coordinates. He's just kind of standing there like an idiot. Can you blow him up? He's, he's like, oh, God, what? What happened? And then he gets up and continues his mission. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> He's like, well, that was crazy. Where'd that come from? Uh, oh, God, not again. Mission successful. That was the last guy in the battlefield. That was hilarious. Two back-to-back -back airstrikes. He just stood there and took it. Uh, that's the kind of enemies I like. We even got a commendation for being under the drop weight, which is pretty sweet. Go sweet salvage, yes. Screenshot this and put it on your fridge, boys. Mad Cat J. I mean, of all the Mad Cats, the jump capable one is the least interesting to me. I'd rather have the probably the weapons or the armor variant, but as a Mad Cat is a Mad Cat. I will take it. Come here, baby. Oh no! <laughs> Literally almost sold my Mad Cat instantly. What the hell? No, I wanted to do this. Make it active and then repair it. Oh my god. Wow, this thing is in tip-top shape. It's missing sensors and one LRM rack. I wonder if we could just pull one off an Uller here. No, they all don't have sensors. Damn, all right, well, whatever. We'll deal with the missing sensors. That is not a problem, man. You can just basic sensors. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. And then, uh... Oh, it was, we had clan LRM racks. It was really just, oh my God, this is like a fully functional Mad Cat J. That's unbelievable. Um, okay, let's go into purchasing. Let's grab some sensors here. Guardian ECM. Intermediate. Advanced. Oh, I'm just gonna grab a few basics. And I guess I will grab an intermediate. I won't grab an advanced. I'll grab a couple intermediates. Now, this is capture and destroy two headquarters and destroy the defenders. Move all units to the extraction point. Capture, destroy three headquarters and defenders. Oh, so there's, this is going to be a fun mission base. Well, okay. First of all, um, let's go to our mech bay. <coughs> okay, who's our best pilot? Because, buddy, you're going into Mad Cat. I think it's this guy, it's Goblin. goblin. It's quite an upgrade to go from a this Jaeger mech to a friggin' Mad Cat. Which 
I could reorder these. Okay, so there's our Mad Cat. That's the leader of the pack. Um, all right, mix. Take you out for a sec. In fact, let me just... I'm just going to strip everything out. And let's rebuild this team from the ground up. Okay, so we've got the Mad Cat, who's clearly leading the way. And in fact, I really like his weapon layout. I'm virtually not going to change anything, although heavy flamers. Six and five. That's a seven. Hmm. Okay, the heavy flamers. It, it's all fine. Goblin. Godspeed. Now, we do have to sort of figure out what we're going to do with these guys. Cram light ultra auto cannon. It seems okay, I guess. I mean, I guess I'll just leave anything clan based on. And then I'm a big fan of the LRM racks. But, uh. Oh, does this guy need sensors? He does. So does this guy. Do I have any room for... Here, inter intermediate sensors. How about that? There you go. And see a little better now. All right, so we got those guys. Who else we got? <clears throat> um, okay, so we can bring in Goblin. 280 tons. So we got a little figuring to do here. So, okay, I do also... I like my Centurion, I like my Bushwhacker, and I like my Jaeger mech. They are, they do have decent setups and stuff. So let's go with, uh... Thunder here. Leave Thunder. I'm Spice. Spice. That myself. And... Uh, let's grab this is Gator. Gator. Okay. The Thunder, Gator, Spice. Oh, we have, like no weight tons left interesting so if we go in with a heavy crew we're just kicking butt and that's it we have no scouts or nothing i would like to bring in one light mech i guess we're going with a jump commando and we'll just throw in somebody who's expendable we're gonna throw in rooster. Rooster. <laughs> poor rooster he's like always willing to go and he's like all right i'm up for it boss what do you want me to do i'm like go there and, well, we hope you don't die, but just go over there is the more important thing. Okay, we're all repaired up. Um, all right, Rooster. How are we doing? Okay, we're directly at 280. We're going to go for it like this. The thing with Battletech is it's very I'm rare you get punished for bringing heavy combat. mechs into battle. So bringing a bunch of heavies and, like, Rather than a bunch of mediums is <clears throat> usually pretty good, but we'll see. It's conceivable there may be scenarios where we want to mix it up a bit more, but we'll start bringing in like a squad of jump capable mechs when we get a little bit more uh, weight distribution. My sensors have a new contact. I'm reporting a new sensor track. All right, here we go. What's up, yes, sir. Bulldog? Now, there is a way to. Um, a new sensor contact. Let's see, short, long range. One less enemy. There is a way to tell your mech warriors to basically only I'm use energy based weapons. Do what I, I just can. forget what the button is. I'm fighting. Right. Minus one enemy. Minus one enemy. I like how when you go on a hill, you can't see farther. That's pretty cool. A hunchback two C's. Like, the thing is, so I, I've already mentioned how the mechanics in this are Battletech-like, but not Battletech. Hunchback 2Cs are, like, crazy scary in the actual Battletech game. I don't know how much their Ultra Auto Cannon 20s translate into this as being as scary. I mean, they're definitely formidable. With the, Oh, Rooster, I was trying to send everyone in. Um, they're definitely formidable with a lot of punch for their size, but... Uh, I believe the ultra auto cannons are not as scary in this game as they truly could be. But anyway, let's just go stir the hornet's nest and uh, see what shakes out. 
I kind of want them to come to me, so hopefully engaging these random okay, I'm trucks will uh, Enemy vehicle encourage them to come attack me. But let's uh, do medium range. Changing attack range. There we go. One less enemy. The hunchback gonna come. It's not even the hunchback. Okay, so having the commando jump in there and steal control of those things is going to be my strategy. I'm going to try and keep the commando alive and with us. And my main force will just sort of like take up some hits. Commando will jump. Commando will jump in, take control. We'll all be good. Commando, do not go first, though. Commando, go last. Yes, sir. Goblin. Looks like I got it, sir. Do what I can, sir. Maybe I'll just use the walk command for the commando. Everyone else like running into battle, he just can sort of saunter in. I'm himself. taking hit. Yeah, you go down, buddy. Here, this was like to get bugged by a gang. Here. Can't touch. Yeah, goes. Can we salvage him? We did not. Oh well. Well, there's another chance. You betcha, sir. Oh wait, <laughs> I just told Rooster to engage. Yes, sir. Oh, and he's done, destroyed. and we didn't get to salvage him. I really should stop Alpha striking. I'm spiked. I'm taking hit. Okay, get over here, dude. Rooster here. They got me pegged. You bet, you, sir. Go, go, go. I got turret it, control. Sir. This is Rooster. Building the base headquarters. Thunder. I'm taking enemy fire. Rooster here, building capture. I'm getting capture shoot all up. the turrets. You bet, sir. Okay, They're I think he, he's me. got him. Oh, Rooster, there's more turrets. Rooster here. They Don't stop. Me. Probably like right over here somewhere, or not? Oh my God! Go 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 go! I'm taking hits. You bet, you, sir. Okay. This is Rooster. Building captured. Oh, and there's gonna be a repair place right over here too. Would be good. It got me pegged. Building okay, captured. Get the gate control. This is Rooster. Building captured. <clears throat> oh, the gate control is the thing that I needed early on. Oh, did I not capture this? I'm that would taking hits. Explain why we were taking so much you, fire. This is Rooster. Building captured. All right, boys. Building captured. Capture this whole base. Oh, we have to capture this too. All right, Rooster, you have earned a repair. You betcha, sir. Building captured. Because I need you to capture the other bases. You're the only jump capable guy. I guess I brought in the Mad Cat. The Mad Cat could be doing work too. Good thing I'm on it. Run over here, repair yourself I'm on up. It. Mm -hmm. Repair complete. Right repair side. complete. All right. This one we could smash the wall, I think. Although, like, how are we gonna get up there? Um, oh, I guess we could get up there this way. Okay. This way, team. In fact, is there anything over here before we go over there? Always worth checking. Doesn't look like it really. Rooster here, they got me pegged. Who does? I'm fine. Oh, I'm pop up, up laser turret. Interesting. Okay, let's uh yes, sir. make a hole in the wall. There we go. How about one more hole? Okay, I'm on it. 
So we have a nice clear path inside. Do what I can, sir. And then everybody in. Now the question is, do we want to take the turrets? Wait, where are you guys going? Oh, do I have to jump over that? Okay. This is Spice. My sensors have a new contact. Okay. I got contact over here. I'm this going to... I'm reporting a new sensor track. Jump these guys. There we go. Yes, sir. They're targeting me. Okay, I'm on it. See, having the long-term or the long-range missiles allows you to sort of like support your crew in there. You know, they've jumped into an enemy base. See if we can lure the guys over this way. <coughs> They're targeting me. Already taken care of. He's just falling apart. That guy's down. Goblin here. Enemy metric. This guy's just like standing next by, like, oh my god. Just protect me, big brother mad cat. This is goblin. That one's his. Alright. <coughs> Do what I can, sir. Building captured. Captured. Kinda wanna just destroy the, the turret controls. Yes, sir. So I don't have to worry about them, but... It's always better to capture them if you here. can, because like then I you turn it, them sir. against the enemy. Okay, I'm on it. Goblin here. Looks like I got it, sir. Yes, sir. Let's to... Goblin here. They're targeting me. Mission objective oh, sir, complete. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Yeah, the gate control. Building captured. Yes, sir. Let's go grab these heavy turret controls. I kind of wish you could zoom out on this map because it feels a little zoomed in for me. Okay, I'm on it. Building captured. Got that. Oh, there's some turret controls. Oh, and a repair center, so we're good. <clears throat> we're good. Let's run over here. What is this ruin? I like how it's blocked off with like security tape, like it's a crime scene or something. Yes, sir. It's like a, a very Goblin revered here. old part the of the base. Rooster here. They got me pegged. Right. I think the building is captured. Now, the thing is, technically, we could sir. repair our guys, but it's like the hassle of doing it is just that too much of a hassle. You can't just be like repair all. Oh, components. These are things we're supposed to be capturing. The component vault. See what's inside. Enemy okay, components captured. Rooster here. Building Mission captured. T-bolts. Building captured. Hmm. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so capture component warehouses. We did that. Capture and destroy. Three headquarters. So we're very close to getting the rest. We might as well keep doing it. Just got to jump up over here and kill these guys. I'm now realizing I think it would have been best to bring a fully jump capable squad. That is what I'm realizing. Okay, so everyone goes here. Except also there is a way to reassign crews. Like if I do this. I could do like New leader selected. Ah, there we go. And control one. New leader selected. Okay, there we go. I just did it. Okay, so let's see if we can get these guys to jump over here. Um, he can make it. Can you make it? Oh, I just fell down. Rooster. Rooster here. Hey, I got a contact. You okay, embarrass me. Kill these walls so that Rooster here. Hey, I got a contact. I'm just gonna let them do that for a while, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe can I jump over here? How far can this mad cat jump? Why can't it jump to anything? Yes, sir. There we go. Jump. 
And jump. Alright. Um, also... I still have ammo. I was gonna say, am I, am I out of ammo? I am not. Sir, I can't get through here. <coughs> Low on ammo, this maybe. Room, I can't get through here. Like, there's a path to go, man. Just friggin' go. Uh oh, new sensor contact. I got a new sensor trace. Those guys are just standing there, not doing anything. All right, jump. You have to micromanage them so much. I think I have a new contact. There we go. Yes, sir. Welcome. They're targeting me. To Looks like the I got it, party. Yes, this is Goblin. Looks like I got it, sir. Uh oh, new sensor contact. Let's okay, I'm two. on it. Looks oh. like I got it, sir. That stupid okay, aerospace spotter. Looks like I got it, sir. Rooster here. It got me pegged. Yes, sir. Oh, well, we should Enemy capture these components. Enemy components. Enemy components captured. Here. Building captured. Yes, sir. You know what I'm not using is my, yes, like, sir. radar. For my, uh, looks for like my I radar, but my artillery strikes. Yes, sir. They're targeting me. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Damn, minefield. This is Spike. I'm getting chewed up. Damn, my guy's, like, minefield. walking through a minefield. Yes, sir. Looks like I got it, sir. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Damn it, uh, I, I found well a minefield. Capture the gate control. They're gunning for me. Damn it, I found a Go. minefield. Mission no. objective Building complete. captured. I think the building is captured. Take the shot. All right, just in time yes, to not need to yes, be here, sir. boys. Yeah, it's like literally the Mad Cat and the Commando have done all the work. I think the building. I is probably captured. could have run this mission with like a lot fewer mechs, actually. <clears throat> it's good to know, actually, that you don't really need to max out your tonnage. The game is very forgiving, it seems. Um, all right, let's just head to the evac point at this point and get the hell out of here. I think we not only completed all the objectives, but I'm pretty sure we got all the bonus ones, too. The last objective is to, like, literally just escape. So that's next on our to-do list. Here. They're shooting me up. Who is? Uh, it's like these pop up turrets. They're targeting me. I'm getting chewed up. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm on it. Time to die. Yes, sir. Kill them all, boys. Yes, sir. There we go. Okay, it's an interesting mechanic, it. these pop up turrets. I don't think they were in the original uh, Mecha fire. Commander. Yes, sir. I don't know if they necessarily add all that much. Maybe later it'll be like either more of a pest or like a more more interesting. But at the moment they're just sort of like, eh. Yeah, sometimes random things show up and shoot you. Let's drop this, whatever this is. I forget. They're shooting me up. Who is? Ooh, uh, a vulture. Take a shot. Goblin here. No, what is he shooting? Furley's Vulture. Damn it, I'm out of ammo. I'd love to solve Come that thing. Don't alpha strike. Do not alpha strike. Going home in a Ooh, we got it! Furry's Vulture. That guy's going home in a body bag. What are those things? I've never known a Battletech weapon to like land on the field and then... I can't like here. that. Rooster here. I can't. <clears throat> get here. Mission All right, we did objective it. complete. Mission successful. Mission successful. Twenty-three enemies destroyed. Five of those were mechs. Three of them were cool mechs, and one of them is coming home with you. This guy's elite now. This guy's got mild experience from running, mostly running through a minefield on this mission. You can do a whole lot else. All right, Fury's Vulture. What was he carrying? A Star League Air Relic using lost technology. 20 damage? Wow. I kind of wish that had been salvaged. 
Maybe we'll see them later on. That must be what he was shooting me with. Anyway, um, repair and refit. That's okay. So let's throw some sensors on this baby. Clan gauze rifle. Do I want this? 16 shots. It's pretty good. See, the problem with all these weapons, if I may digress for a little bit, is it just weighs so much. 13.5, whereas the standard perfect PPC, where is it? I can't even see it. Actually, 13.5 may not be bad at all. How much does a PPC weigh? 12. Oh. Oh my god, gauze rifles are actually pretty decent in this then. Okay, well. We can have a clan gauze rifle. And then we'll do some uh, LRM ammo. Actually, I'm going to put on inner sphere LRM packs. Two, three. And man, he could do another clan gauze rifle. How about a clan large pulse laser? And then a clan ER laser. And now we can do it. There we go. It's a pretty beastly machine, actually. Oh, and it's a jump capable. The jump crew's coming together. The jump crew. I think maneuverability is going to be the name of the game on this playthrough here. Are there any... Oh, this guy is like a pro jumper. Burnout. Oh, here's Hitman. This is Hitman. I don't even know how much money I have, but Get we got to buy sir. him. But just because... Uh... No oh, one's Scarab. This is Scarab. These guys Hitman were in the uh, the other one that we played. This is Hitman. All right, Hitman, you get the Vulture J. <coughs> okay, let's repair these guys up. Repair all, repair all, repair all. I'm very happy with this guy's setup, so we'll leave him. Um. Okay, so let's see here. Let's check our mission first here. Capture the mobile headquarters, destroy all command buildings, destroy all enemy mechs. Our successful occupation of Baton, I haven't even been reading what we're doing, but in the midst of rebuilding ancient Star League military area, identified as Base Ogre. <coughs> so it's another base raid. Okay, this time we're going to jump capable. We're not, if you can't jump, you ain't coming. That's the name of the mission. So like not like rooster can come because he's jump capable. I think we have a jump capable Uller too, if memory serves. An Uller J. And I'm not just picking the J Max because that's my name. There, there's absolutely no bias in my play style. All right, Scarab here. A little better at the uh, gunnery, so you're coming. Scarab. Um, let's look at purchasing here. We do have some money. Could we buy like a cool jump capable mech? <laughs> a mauler. Maulers are hilarious. So maulers and bushwhackers are both and, and, and the awesome. Wow, actually. And the Centurion. Was the Centurion in the first mech commander? I feel like this expansion pack was specifically trying to tap into the cartoon. I don't know if this came out around the same time, but you could create the first Somerset Strikers. I mean, they don't have an Axe Man, but you could go Awesome, Mauler, uh, Centurion. And I guess the Centurion got swapped out for the Bushwhacker. Originally, there was an Axe Man that got swapped out for the Awesome. Um, but pretty sure the Mauler was always there. I don't think they ever had a fourth mech. Because it was Commander Steiner, it was that gruff guy, and then it was the bald black guy. Those are the three mech warriors. And there was Ciro, but he got captured by the clans early on and brainwashed by uh, Nikolai Malthus. I guess they had Kristen Redman recently, or briefly. They captured her. She tried to help them. She upgraded their mechs with enhanced imaging. But anyway, okay, I'm just going on and on. Oh man, imagine a jump capable awesome. Funny how every mech has like a jump capable version. I'm very tempted to buy just a, an awesome because I think it's awesome. In fact, I think I will. Okay, we could have one awesome. 
three ERPPCs. Now that is an awesome. See, I I don't even care about the two pulse lasers. I actually like as long as he's got three PPCs, I'm happy to have heavier armor. And then jump capable. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna buy an awesome. Because that's my dream. It's a new dream. I just started it, but I want an awesome. I think they made the Mauler way better. The Mauler sucks in normal battle tech because he just has four auto cannon twos, which I mean he's a good support unit, but he's not like a fighting unit. And he doesn't really have enough armor for his size, so. Maybe we'll get one just to see at some point. But okay, I want something jump capable. Uh, like nothing is available. A jump capable hunchback, I guess. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. I think no. Let's bring our awesome out. Who's gonna go in the awesome? Okay, first of all, we got some mechs, I think, that, like... This is Gator. I'm Spice. Thunder here. Oh, Thunder's totally going in the awesome. Where are you, buddy? Thunder, Thunder. here. Leave it to me. All right. So Thunder can come. <coughs> so I guess our jump crew... Or these four guys for now. I think that's a good crew. I, I want to replace the commando, but... Um, okay, so then we have our awesome. Who else is going? So we now we need non-jump capables. So I guess I'll bring the bushwhacker. Maybe we could recreate I'm the fine. first Somerset strikers. I just need a mauler, and I got it. In fact, we have the uh, Adam Steiner, Hawk. What the hell is that other guy's name? He's got a beard. And then. Uh, I can't remember anyone's names. The, the bald black guy. You know, you guys know the bald black guy? What's his face? Okay, the Ulers are 30 tons. So we, we really don't have enough. I want to fit another 25 tons in here. We don't have it, so whatever. We're going without it. Okay, capture the mobile HQ and destroy a command building. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors I got prepare this. for combat. All right. And off we go. Yeah, this whole planet's pretty much been torched. It, it kind of looks like there were a bunch of really cool battles here, and now it's like we're just fighting over the ruins of it. Uh oh, new sensor contact. There's a new sensor contact. Hey, I got a contact. Oh. They're targeting me. Kill that guy, will ya? Sure. Thank you. He's going home in a shoebox. That guy's going home okay, in a body a bag. Take a shot. It's raining bullets over here. Looks like Let's I got to fire it. up, boys. Yes, sir. Don't we'll focus too much on one target. Guy. Sorry, I can't do that. One less bad guy. All right. Oh, with our components? Yes. So you really got to keep an eye out on components on the battlefield. Yes, sir. Enemy components. Oh, you know what? We didn't even look at those T-bolts or whatever that we captured. The clan ER large laser is good. We're going to mix up our weaponry a lot more this time than we ever did the first time. That looks like a neutral truck, so we'll let him go. <clears throat> I think the first time we, we played Mech Commander, the non-expansion, I, I, I don't, don't know what to call it. Like Mech Commander 1? No, it's we're still playing Mech Commander 1. Okay, I'm on it. It was the non-expansion, though. Um, we went all in on the PPCs and LRMs. This is Spike. Enemy mech destroyed. Thank you, Spike. All right, so we can also just make more, better use of our uh, artillery too. It'll save us some hassle. Boom. <laughs> They're like, hey man, not cool. Who did that? We're gonna get you. He's like, I am gonna show you what's up. I was trying to be cool and not attack you. Yes, sir. Oh my God! <laughs> and up. so you can, so, can sometimes yes, see them sir. go on your salvage screen this and then get erased as they take me. too much damage. Popped me a mixer. Yes, yeah, like that guy briefly went on before he went off. I think our PPCs are just too damn effective. 
All right, so jump crew alpha is going to jump in. And the awesome. Oh, I didn't even look at the awesome. Hold on a sec. Um, let's do this. There he is. Such a cool looking mech. And there's the bushwhacker. <coughs> Maulers next. Then we get our uh, Somerset Strikers achievement unlocked. I wish. I think this game predates achievements. <laughs> Which for you youngins, if you're young and you're watching this, you're like, the game predates achievements. What does that even mean? But it's like, nope, it, it really does. There's a new sensor contact. Achievements were not always a thing, kids. Um, oh god, don't get destroyed. One less bad guy. There we go. Hey, I got a contact. Rooster, stop taking shots. I am taking harassing fire. Harassing fire. One less bad guy. Scarab here. We seem to have a One less bad guy. Yes, sir. Yeah, the turrets are doing the heavy fighting now. Rooster is getting beat up though, man. Feel bad for this guy. Well, let's check our map here. I'm happy to just let the turrets fight this way. You know how they say you should let someone else fight your battles? In the Battletech universe, you should let someone else fight your battles. Because why fight your own battles? It, you know, doesn't make a lot of sense. This is fight. Right, right. I'm getting chewed up. Also, yeah, if you just in life in general, if you actually do have someone who can fight your battles, why would you not let them? Thunder. I'm taking enemy fire. Oh god. Right back. I'm spiked. I've got a new contact. Already taken care of. I'm taking hit. Okay, my awesome and my bushwhacker took some damage because I didn't realize. I'm reporting a new sensor track. Do what I can. Boom. Let's watch the salvage in real time. This is Rooster. Hey, I got a contact. I am under fire. That guy's done. Oh, see he went on and then he got yeah, then he got erased. Oh look at him spinning. Here. One Did you guys see that? He like yes, spun sir. himself to death. Popped me a mech, sir. Popped me a mech, sir. Do what I can, sir. They're targeting me. Rooster here, they're shooting me up. Get over here and capture mech these destroyed. things. I am receiving direct Oh fire. god. Uh-oh, new sensor contact. Building captured. Get in here and capture number. this thing. Rooster here. Ooh, a Loki. I got a contact. I'm taking enemy fire. Okay, I'm on it. Get down quickly. Easily done, sir. Get him down quickly. We can salvage the Loki. I think it's actually a Thor that Nikolai Malthus pilots. I was gonna say we could uh, not only recreate uh, the first Somerset Strikers, but we need a couple Hunchback Twos. We already have a Vulture. We could create the the clans uh, from that show. Destroy the command building. This one? Yes, sir. I think so. It's got my number. Oh, and there's a repair bay right there. We'll repair out. The new goblin. They're not getting me. It's history. Here we right. go. Command building destroyed. Ooh, let's capture Do what I can, sir. this. Scarab here. I am receiving directed fire. Reporting building and this. captured. Here. There's a new sensor Enemy contact. Uh-oh, new sensor contact. New sensor contact. Captured. Easily done, sir. Yes, sir. Can't capture, sir. The enemy's too close. Huh. That's a bunch of hunchbacks. Okay, I'm on it. Hit One of them sir. jumped over and must have, been, must have fallen down. He was just lying okay, on the beach on there. It. Shadow cat. <clears throat> Mission objective complete. Mission success. Oh, I was going to repair my units. Yes, I think sir. there was a cargo bay I didn't even get a chance to grab, too. Oh, well, whatever. It's, I'm sure it's fine. Commendation for no drop <coughs> oh, I didn't even uh, notice the uh, mobile HQ either. I would have done those things. You, you ended the mission too early. People, lady, shadow cats. I don't know if I'm excited about those or I don't care.
I think they're new to this expansion. Incoming Basically, I don't have enough experience to know. Good work, Zulu Company. Apparently, Colonel Coter had this operation planned for some time. Base Ogre contained a mixture of Star League and Clan technologies. We now believe that there are several such bases surrounding a central facility. And that would be consistent with similar Star League outposts on the periphery. What that central facility does is anybody's guess. I'm transmitting orders for several sorties that will poke at the Jaguar's defenses and gather intelligence. They're moving a lot of equipment and personnel around. He's after something. Yankee, you will identify targets of opportunity. Zulu, be prepared for a number of rapid strikes. I want this situation resolved. That's it for now, but stay sharp. Something doesn't seem right about this place. Yeah, we're fighting battles for our lives here what do you mean something doesn't feel right uh anyway okay i think this is as far as we're going to go in today's episode um so like we did we played the original mech commander we're going to do this over several episodes oh i almost killed my head i don't think you can have pilots die in this <clears throat> although they do have health so it might be possible anyway um, I think we've done pretty good so far. In fact, let's check out our shadow cats. See one of these things. Repair all. Pulse lasers, eh? I actually, I don't hate that. It's an interesting, uh, interesting little mech. Although I kind of wish they were jump capable. But, uh, there we go. We do have the technology to refit it. Let's just buy some more sensors here. I think these are the basic ones. Just throw like 10 in there. And throw some sensors. I'm just doing this also. I don't forget when we come back to play for the next episode. Should also just check what kind of mechs are for sale. Is there? Oh my god. I mean, we gotta buy this thing purely for the first summer set. I don't actually want this mech, but we just bought one. <clears throat> we'll get definitely get an Atlas before the game's over. But I mean, we basically have every Inner Sphere mech at this. Oh, I guess we don't have a Hunchback or a Hollander, but we've seen those. We own a Stiletto. Stiletto kind of looks like a Jenner, actually. Slightly modified Jenner when I really look at it. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see more mechs in battle next time. Um, I guess I will take this guy out and throw this guy in so he's there. Yeah, look at that guy. Um, anyway, we'll pay more attention to our mission. We'll we'll pick this up next time, guys. I hope you have an enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I hope you have been enjoying this look at uh, the Mech Commander expansion, whose name I'm forgetting now. Desperate measures is that it? Um, and uh, yeah, we will catch you in the next video. Until then, my friends, remember: no guts, no galaxy. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.